Hello my dear friends, welcome back to Infigyan. In this video we have one very interesting and challenging radical equation which we will be solving for the real values of x. So let's get started. I will write equation x cube minus 8 equal to 16 is there. We can write factors 8 times 2. Then we have cube root of x plus 1. Now we know that 2 can be written as cube root of 8. So we will be writing LHS x cube minus 8. In RHS we will write 8 times cube root of 8 times cube root of x plus 1. Now we are going to club these two cube roots and we will get x cube minus 8 equal to 8 times cube root of 8 times x plus 1 or we can write equation x cube minus 8 equal to 8 times cube root of 8x plus 8. Now the time of substitution. I will consider this radicant 8x plus 8 equal to y cube. So the very first equation which I can write from here will be x cube minus 8 equal to 8 times cube root of y cube. So cube root and cube will be over. We will get only y. This is our equation number 1. Now from this substitution equation, we can write y cube equal to 8x plus 8 or I can subtract 8 from both the sides. So I can write y cube minus 8 equal to 8x. Let us write here y cube minus 8 equal to 8 times x. This is our second equation. And we are going to solve this system of equations for the real values of x. So I will write our first equation x cube minus 8 equal to 8 times y equation 1. Second equation y cube minus 8 equal to 8 times x equation number 2. Now we are going to perform operation. 1 minus 2. So I will change the sign. We will get x cube minus y cube minus 8 plus 8 will be over equal to 8 times y minus x. This will be equal to minus 8 times x minus y. Once we will take minus 1 common from the bracket. Now we can write all the terms to LHS. So x cube minus y cube plus 8 times x minus y equal to 0. Now we can use a cube minus b cube formula here and write x minus y times x square plus y square plus xy then we have plus 8 times x minus y equal to 0. Now we can take x minus y overall common. So x minus y is overall common times in other bracket we will write x square plus y square plus xy plus 8 equal to 0. Now we will apply product 0 rule. So we can write either x minus y will be 0 or x square plus y square plus xy plus 8 will be equal to 0. So from our first equation, we can conclude 
x must be equal to y. And from our second equation, I will multiply both sides by 4. So I will write 4x square plus 4y square plus 4xy plus 32 equal to 0 or I can write equal to minus 32. Now we will split 4y square as y square plus 3y square. So I will write 4x square plus y square plus 4xy. Then 3y square is left. Right hand side is negative 32. Now from first three terms, we can write this is one perfect square of 2x plus y. Then we have plus 3y square and RHS is negative 32. So sum of two squares cannot be negative for real solutions. So I will write here, we are going to get complex solutions and we are looking for real only, then we can reject this equation for our calculation and answer. So we are going to accept x equal to y. Now I'll be writing our first equation, x cube minus 8 equal to 8y. There I will apply x equal to y or y equal to x and get x cube minus 8 equal to 8x, y equal to x. So I can write our cubic equation x cube minus 8x minus 8 equal to 0. Now we have to solve this cubic equation. Let me write the equation here x cube minus 8 times x minus 8 equal to 0. I will use rational root theorem. Let us find out eligible factors of 8. So I can write here plus minus 1, plus minus 2, plus minus 4, and plus minus 8. If I will plug in x equal to 1 directly, will it satisfy 1 minus 8 minus 8? No, it is not. If I will plug in x equal to minus 1, so this time we'll write minus 1 plus 8 minus 8. Again, it is not. Now I will plug in x equal to 2. So 2 cube is 8 minus 16 minus 8. Again, it is not satisfying. Now I will plug in x equal to minus 2. So we'll write minus 8 plus 16 minus 8. Yes, this time it is satisfying our equation. So we will say x equal to negative 2 is our base solution and we will use synthetic division method. In this method, we need to write all the coefficients of cubic equation. So we will write the coefficient of x cube 1. Coefficient of x square is missing, so we will write 0. Coefficient of x is minus 8. Constant is again minus 8. Put one line over there leading term or coefficient 1 would be as it is. Now we have to multiply these two numbers. Base solution with leading coefficient number. Minus 2 times 1 is minus 2. We will add these two. We will get minus 2. Minus 2 times minus 2 will give us 4. Addition of these two will be minus 4. Minus 2 times minus 4 is 8. Addition of these two will give us 0. Here we have coefficients for quadratic equation. I will write equation x square minus 2x minus 4 equal to 0. So our first solution is our base solution minus 2. Now we are calculating the remaining two solutions from this quadratic equation. So I will write this equation as x square minus 2x and then I will take minus 4 to the RHS and we can write 4 in the right hand side. 
Now I will use method of completing the square. So I need to add 1 in LHS. So in the RHS. Now LHS will become 1 perfect square of x minus 1. And RHS is 5. Now we will take a square root both sides and write x minus 1 equal to plus minus a square root of 5. Now we will add 1 to both sides to collect our final answer will be equal to 1 plus minus a square root 5. So we have 3 real solutions in total. If I will write our base solution was minus 2 and here we have 1 plus minus a square root of 5. I hope friends you will like this video. Thank you so very much for watching. Do not forget to like, share and subscribe. Bye bye till next video. Good luck. Take care. Bye bye.